to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another 2-in-1 AEW and Rival Collection review on the brand new Lucha Bros Series 6 Ray Phoenix and Penta, guys. It looks pretty good, man. I think these are going to be upgrades from their last figures. We won't know until we crack them out of the packaging, of course. But if you guys would like to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I haven't seen a ton of things on these guys just yet. We got some questionable decisions going on with them. Not a lot of accessories and things of that nature as well, so it's it's going to be interesting for sure, but I really like the gold that I'm seeing on these guys, right? You know, as soon as we saw images of them, as soon as we got, like, mock images and stuff like that, I was really excited to see exactly how, you know, their 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 gold gear looked and all of that different stuff. So, let's go ahead and crack these guys out of the packaging, guys, or, or first of all, let's take a look at the packaging. Here is Pinta and Phoenix. They look really good. Again, the gold looks really, really nice. It matches all uniform for mock collectors and stuff like that. On the side, you get the AEW logo, number 49 and 50. It's flipped again, so I have apologize. You got images of both there, signatures at the top. You got the rest of the figures in the way. Both of these are from Fight for the Fallen. Spinning around, AEW logo again. A picture of both talents there, and that pretty much does it for our packaging on the Lucha Brothers, guys. So let's go ahead and crack these guys out of the packaging and see what their figures are all about. And there is Penta and Phoenix out of the packaging. Guys, liking what I'm seeing, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far as I have posed them around. Penta did come with like a little plastic wrap around his waist there. So uh, that is something to take note of. But these are interesting releases in the set, man. They're definitely interesting and we're going to break down all of those things. But since these guys are a tag team, bro, we're going to cover everything about them together. We typically do that, you know, with the Young Bucks, with any Lucha Bros, with yeah, any tag teams. We like to review them absolutely together. That way we can get a good look at their stuff. They are uniformed together here in their colors and stuff. Really hope we get a Joker Penta. That is something I really hope for. Hope I, I guarantee Jeremy's going to give it to us. I know everybody was blowing him up on Twitter and Instagram and everything when we got that, guys. But before we get into the figures themselves, guys, let's go ahead and break down their accessories. And then we'll move on to the figures themselves. So getting into their accessories, guys, this is all we get with Phoenix and Penta. You have interchangeable hands for both. No cloth goods, no titles, no nothing like that. But one thing that is interesting for... For sure. You get the zero fear hand, you get a left fist, and then you get an interchangeable left fist with black tape. I'm pretty sure these hands are the exact same, so I don't know what they were thinking here or what the idea was behind these, but as far as I'm seeing, man, they look identical. So, and then you have a right gloved hand, which I'm guessing because he took his glove off in the match, I think I do remember him, you know, removing the glove in the match. And so you have this black and gold gloved hand, and then you have the zero fear hand, which is nice. I don't know why it came with two left black wrist fists. I, I don't know what's up with that. And then as far as Phoenix is concerned, here's the right hand, and here's the interchangeable right hand. So it's like a flat hand, and then you have sort of a posing hand with tape on the fingers. And then on the left side, you got like the flat hand with tape, and then you have another flat hand with tape. So they both have identical left hands, and I'm not sure exactly why that is or why they decided to do it that way. Very odd choices all around, man. I don't, I don't know why they did that. I'm not exactly sure what the thought process was. I don't know if that was by accident, but that pretty much does it for their accessories. All right, guys, so take a look at Phoenix himself starting out with the mask sculpt. Really like this mask sculpt a lot. The black and gold looks really good. All the graphics going around look really nice as well. I like the facial expression we're making right here. I think he was like yelling or smiling in the last one. This one's just kind of a blank smirk, which I really like. I think the likeness is totally there. The mask sculpt is really phenomenal, so whoever did that did a really excellent job. Going down into the torso, same torso as before. You got all of his tattoos on here. I think there was like worries that he wouldn't have all of his tattoos, but I'm pretty sure he has all of his tattoos. They're a little bit bolder than than they were on his last figure, I'd say. I don't know if that's more or less realistic. So, white wrist tape going on the back. You do have his back tattoos and stuff. You do have, like, this nice cheetah print going around the crotch in the gold. You got the black going around. You got these, like, Phoenix logos going around in black and gold. Looks really good. I like this attire. I don't know if I like this gear more than the black and white or not. I think I do, but you never know, man. I'm gonna have to look at them next, you know, side by side. Then you have the all black boots, which look really good, and you got some knee pads on there. So, that is really nice as well. Really like this. I will say, I feel like he's a little bit hard to stand. Like, his feet are kind of, I don't know, maybe it's not as bad. Maybe I'm just analyzing it a little bit too much. But the Phoenix figure is looking good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Penta. And I'll say that Penta is just a better, you know, he's more toyetic, you know, how they like to say. He, he looks better in figure form because of how, like, unique his look is. But the black and gold on this figure looks outstanding. Just like Phoenix, it just it has a real nice shimmer to it. The face paint looks really good. I really like the head sculpt on it. You got this nice drawing. 
dragon going around there with the horns. You got all these different patterns and sculpts going on on both sides there. Just really nice, man. It's so cool that you can actually move the head as well. So they just did a great job on this. Really like the way Penta looks on his torso. Same deal. You got his padded sort of stuff going on. D'Lo Brown-esque type torso with the gold going on on the stripes there. Looks really nice. Stripes and details going on. Just a really nice figure, bro. I don't even know how to describe it. It just looks really, really good. You got the black wrist tape on there like we discussed. All of his tattoos are here. And I think uh, this one is a little bit different because his tattoos go all the way down to his wrist instead of being covered up by white wrist tape compared to his Series 2 figure. So that is good. You do have your loose waist wrap right here in black and gold that sits over the figure. You have the bunched up pants style tights that he likes to wear. You got the gold graphics going down the side kind of reminding me of honeycombs or something. You got some logos on the knee pads in gold and then you have the black and gold kick pads and you do have this nice lower leg rotation right there which I really like. So I always appreciate the rotation man. The more articulation the better for sure at least in my opinion. But if you guys want to see what these guys looked like up next to each other I know we saw it a little bit earlier in the video but if you guys want to take a look at this. Look how nice that looks. Uniform, great pairing and stuff like that. And then if we move them over to the side here we can get our other series 2 in here or not our other series 2 but our series 2 figures up in here and we can see what these look like up next to our other Lucha Bros. And which ones do you guys like better? If I had to pick I think I like the gold more even though the white and black is super clean. Huh. I will say like it would be really cool if someone were to get an extra series 2 or 6 and then paint you know paint these head sculpts like this or paint these head sculpts like this. I think that would be a really dope swap or whatever you want to call it right there. But yeah guys let me know down below which one you like better. And you could also like torso swap them. You can make like a hybrid attire if you wanted to do that. I don't know why you'd want to do that but you could do that or I don't know. There's a lot of different options you could do. You could even put this black glove over on that one and give them a black glove and a white glove. Lots of different stuff but it's kind of weird because with AEW figures man I don't have like a ton of duplicates like I do but a lot of them are mock. Like it's hard for me to open my extras for the AEW figures which I don't know why. Like I, all of my extra AEW figures are mock and I have like a few of certain figures because I bought them extra at retail. It's just weird I, I I like struggle opening them because they're so hard to find and then when you finally find them I think in later series I'll start doing that more and more but for some reason with AEW figures I struggle to buy multiples and multiples and then open them and leave some mock and stuff like that regardless like with WWE I'll open every single one and not care which is weird I, I don't know why I'm like that but there is your comparison of series 2 and series 6 Lucha Bros but anyways guys that is pretty much going to wrap up our 2 in 1 review of AEW series 6 Lucha Bros Phoenix and Penta. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I think overall these are definitely worth the pickup. I know a ton of people missed out on Series 2 and if Series 2 is too high in price, I don't know what they're going for. I feel like Series 2 wasn't as popular of a series outside of maybe Moxley and Hangman. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. I haven't checked on it. That's just, I feel like that's the last thing that happened when I checked it out. However, these Series 6, fig these series six figures are definitely worth the pickup. I think they're two of the better ones in the set. We are going to rank the set tomorrow so definitely check that out. Do not miss out on our ranking of Series 6. Should be a pretty entertaining video and we also have to cover Sheeta and MJF so that will also be in tomorrow's video guys but before we get out of here guys let's get into our random shout out if you guys would like to grab these again go over to ringside collectibles use promo code MD toys to save 10% use promo code MD toys to save 10% on all of your pre-orders man there's gonna be a ton of pre-orders coming up in the next few days do not miss them like as we approach comic-con man there's gonna be a ton of stuff up for pre-order at ringside so definitely use promo code MD toys be sure to use separate orders depending on when things are supposed to be in stock and stuff so you don't do one big order and then you're sitting at the house waiting on everything to come in and stock at once. Place orders separately. Use code MD Toys to save 10%. Use that priority shipping. Very important stuff. This shout out's going to go to Is Brian Flying or Dying? Wow, that Chris head is phenomenal. Glad the heads are removable without heat. And absolutely, bro, that is one thing that I absolutely love about the AEW figures. Like, it is so nice. It's like Marvel Legends, man. You can just do a quick little head swap. If it doesn't work, all right, I don't have to heat it up and then find out that it doesn't work. That is something that I am definitely thankful for with the AEW action figures, man. This stuff is just fantastic, and that is something that I love. But a huge shout-out to Brian, or Brian flying, dying, or just flying around, and Brian, and don't cross the line. You cross the line.